We're back in the game. We've had family down. We've had about a week and a day of just sheer horrendous rain where we've just, the last thing we did was fit in the window. How long ago was that? I think it was longer. Really? Four days ago. So yeah, we're, um, we're about to get out there and uh, do some bits and bobs, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass. This fighting against this weather is a tough one, you know, especially on the coast. And now, SJ is just cleaning this up. What are you doing? Show them this. Well, I need to treat some rust first and then I'm gonna, I'm just like, I've got to prime it. We've got these, um, this is supposed to be the exact color of the van. But we won't know until we find out. Overwhelm. It does get you when you've got a lot of things. But something that we've got to go do in the middle of the week, in the middle of our sunshine. We've kind of got down tools, go do that, come back, and then we're going to be making a start on these bad boys, the side trim, the side flares. Um, so we're just trying to get as much as we can done now so that we can just focus on the side flares on the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday that we're due sunshine um, next week. And at the moment, because we've ordered a lot of stuff, everything is in here. So I've tasked myself with emptying the van. There you go, jobs are good. She's empty again. All right, so we've just given ourselves a little pep talk. So we're just trying to finish off some odd bits and bobs. So on the driver's side, SJ's finished the hammer right on the footwell over there, which we had a leak coming in. We've got the trims ready to go back on around that. She's testing the spray paint down here now, the calcite yellow that we bought off of eBay so that we can do different various bits of rust, like there's some up there, there's some down on the side bit here. Um, so she's doing that. There's the window on the other side, which I'm going to put some um, silly rub on. It's not actually leaking, but we just figured we've done one window, we might as well do both. And then I think we're going to call it a day um, on the van because tomorrow we're due with more rain. Wednesday night, we're actually doing a freaking long ass night drive. Um, SJ's got a gig on Wednesday night and we're going to be driving back after that gig. So that's going to be a three o'clock in the morning, at four o'clock in the morning. Huh? We'll catch you on the flippity flop. Right, I've silly rubbed that. Now I need SJ's baby fingers to uh, go around with the Vaseline and seal it all off, like rub it in. We have got a little tool for it, this bad boy. But if I'm, this, this thing here, that you stick uh, these like rubber things onto, but it just doesn't seem to do as good a job as SJ's finger. So, you saw earlier that we put some spray paint on. Would thoroughly not recommend. Don't buy spray paint online. <laughs> Doesn't match. So we are going to wash it off, unfortunately. So la vie. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. Save yourself 30 nuggets and uh, don't buy, don't buy that. So sorry, I forgot to film the really satisfying peeling away of the tape down there, but it's not the neatest of jobs, but actually you can't really see this stuff I've just done. It's all under that, which is pretty good. <laughs> There you can kind of see it's not the neatest. And then this I just resprayed. There was a big, you can kind of see the, the hole, I guess. So I just resprayed all that. Um, that was all rusted. I think you should probably saw the previous videos. And that's now, watch this one, I guess. <laughs> see, it's really satisfying. Anyway, no more rust. Nice clean door. Oh, this is just fitting the. Uh, the new trim, it's looking sexy, yeah. It's not bad, much excess though, look. That's pretty good. So he says literally leave the slightest overlap. I reckon like that much. And he uses, he doesn't use a Stanley knife, he uses like cutters, like little, like pliers. Yeah. I think I've done a pretty good job of firming it up pretty nicely. SJ's doing this hammering with the mullet because she doesn't trust that my hands. Mullet! <laughs> what is it? It's a mallet, you moron. Oh yeah. It's not a mallet, it's a mallet. <laughs> but you don't trust these big beasts. These are basically mallets in of themselves. They are. I still don't like how it's still a bit warped though. Do you know what I mean? No, that's good. 
it's part I of the don't seal. Like it. We didn't have any pliers that were strong enough, so I opted for wire cutters. Pretty bloody strong. Because there's actually metal in the seal. He says a little overlap. Do you reckon that's too much of an overlap? Yeah, maybe. Ooh. There's metal in there. <laughs> Just told them that. Open it up a bit. Yeah, that was better. Find your fingers. Is that your blood on it? Aw. Making do. Yeah, and then they both seal. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of good. Cool. How mallet the shit out. Mullet the crap out of it. We did something. We fucked up one thing, but we succeeded in another, so that's good. And update on the panel, we cleaned it all off with alcohol. So this is the bit that was letting the leak through. So when we took up the foot well, which we've got all the footage of, SJ will no doubt show that now, um, we had water all in this little bit here. So, since we had water in there, we've cleaned it up, SJ has treated it to heckers. We actually in think- the hole, look at the hole. Yeah, the, the hole's hole. been cleaned as well. Oh, and the drainage holes have been, been cleaned. Hole. Down here, so we've got a full, a full flow down now. now. So when the water does collect in here, it'll just go out through that hole down there. We've just seen that we cut it and we trimmed it and it joins here now. Um, it, they did have it joining down here, which I think is rather silly because that's where water is going to go. Yeah. Whereas if you've got it here, you know, water will hopefully stay outside and if it does get in, it's getting in up here, not down there and collecting. Yeah. Um, so no doubt someone will be like, oh, it's supposed to be there. It's like, oh, we're doing it because, shut up. Accurate. Well, it just intu intuitively, it makes sense to have it there. It does. You know and we're saying? all about intuition, aren't we? Follow your intuition. So there you go. That's uh, that's that successfully fitted and cleaned up. What's that song? I think you're right. We just let it do its thing and come off on its own. You can't fucking see it from the floor anyway. No. What's that song? What? I don't care where you go, but you can't stay around here. Oh yeah. Closing time. time. Drink your uh, beer and alcohol. Da, 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 da. Closing time. Oh. It's closing, closing time. time. Last call for alcohol. So finish so your whiskey and beer. beer. Oh. I feel like I'm missing a syllable. It's in time. It's like dear, dear, la, alcohol. It's definitely last call for alcohol, but it's like. It's closing time. Last call for alcohol. So drink up your whiskey and beer. I think it's drink up, isn't it? Is it? Not so like drink up your whiskey and whiskey. Whiskey. Fill up. Whiskey and whiskey. We could just, we could do our own one. Closing time. Last Closing call for alcohol. Sunny gym, so pack up your tools and your things. <laughs> All right, guys, we've done it. We figured out a tune that goes to it that works for what we're doing. You know what time it is, guys? It's closing time. You don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. It's closing time. One last clean for Sunny Jim, so pack up your tools and your things. It's closing time. One last clean for Sunny Jim, so pack up your tools and your things. One more time. It's closing time. One last clean for Sunny Jim, so pack up your tools and your things. Closing time. One last call for Sony Jim, so pick up your tools.
how many could we do? So pick up your, your tools and your things. Good night, Sunny Jim. See you next week, guys. Pick up your tools and things. Well then, One last tweet of signing. It's closing time. One last tweet of signing. So pick up your tools and your things. Yeah, why did you do that? I'm deleting that one. Are you ready? Yeah. It's closing wait, wait, wait. time. I don't. I, uh, you, you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Oh yeah. I have to come, I have to come out and say that first. All right, we're starting again. So you appear out of nowhere. All right. I'll just be like, okay, it's closing time. No, no. I'll say you gotta say. Um, do you know what ga time it is, guys? Or something like that, doesn't it? I don't remember, but hey, you know what time it is, guys? It's, c it's closing time. Nobody's nerfing. You're like well in the lens, by the way, and you're like trying to lean in, but the <laughs> wide angle has got you and the entire van it. See, so I can stand here and she can stand back over there. Thanks for watching again, guys. We'll see you next week, hopefully.